I started playing netball at, here at primary school when I was probably seven or eight years old, just playing with my friends. My mum's always been right into the netball scene, so she was pushing me and George into any team she could, sort of, and we loved it straight away. My parents have definitely helped me through my netball career. They've, they do probably more for me than they should at the age of 19, but they're really, really good to me and my sister, and probably my sister as well, Georgia, who's also here. Um, yeah, we do everything together, so we've probably pushed each other along some of the lows of, you know, of sports, so that's pretty lucky to have each other, really. Georgia decided what position I was actually going to play because she wanted to be the shooter and I wasn't allowed to be a shooter because she was going to be the shooter. So, and that worked for me because I wanted to do everything, so I became a centre, so I got to run around and try to do everything. <laughs> Thinking back a year or two, never thought I would be um, where I was last year, let alone this year. Um, I was, yeah, it was definitely something. I didn't really realise I had the opportunity coming. Like, I knew sort of as a training partner last year that it could be, but it definitely came a lot faster than I expected and in that way I've been pretty lucky. Having my mum as a silver fern, I think with her having the experience and the knowledge of netball, she's helped us, me and my sister, so much and I don't really feel any expectation of it but it's kind of cool being able to tell people that my mum and my auntie and all that was a silver fern, it was my favourite line in primary school anyway. Being part of last year's team was pretty cool. I got on the court maybe three times, but I always had so much advice, um, feedback after trainings, after games. And Wendy's amazing. She's still texts me sometimes, being like, if you need anything, if you want any help, like just let me know. So it's pretty cool to have someone like that, especially a legend like Wendy, just so happy to help you out. A key goal would be just to keep learning and growing and just absorbing all the advice and feedback from the more experienced players and coaches and I definitely do want to be a more dominant player just keep trying to um, do play my role and yeah just do my own job and um, yeah just eventually become more and more solid I guess.